In this Playray tutorial, I will discuss how to handle date picker in the sense how to select the date field value using Playwright automation testing. So we will see the four scenarios. First one is how to pass the hard coded date value. And uh, next we will see how to select date value dynamically. Then we will see how to select the pass date. And finally, I will talk about how to select the future date. So let's navigate to the browser. We will see the manual test scenario. So here we will go to the jQuery UI.com slash date picker. So if you see here, so there is a one date field. And if you click on this, so it is giving us the calendar. So here we can select the dates. So this is our very simple uh, scenario. We, we are going to automate it. So I will go to the VS code and we will start automating it. So as I said, we are going to see four scenarios. So let's see one by one. So here I, I will quickly create one spec file under chapter two. So here I will give the spec file name as 08 date picker. Underscore test dot spec dot ts. So that's it. So here I will go to one of the spec file. Simply I will copy this content so let me paste it here so that's it so let me delete the unwanted lines of code so that's it so let's delete the url also so here I will give the test title as selecting date value in playwright. So that's it. So now what we will do is firstly, so we will navigate to this URL. So simply I will copy this URL and then after adding the URL. If I need to select any value from the calendar, so firstly, we have to identify this text box, right? So let's identify the text box. So if you see this element, which contains the input tag, and if you scroll little bit above here, so this element is present inside the iframe. So that's the reason we have to identify the iframe first to perform the actions on this input box. So let's identify the iframe by using the class attribute value. So simply I'll copy and paste it. So we are going to just write a simple CSS selector by using the attribute and value and if you see here so we are able to identify the iframe so let's identify the iframe first copy the value and i will go to the vs code and here i'll say page dot frame locator so i will add the locator value here then i will assign back to the constant variable called iframe so that's it now i can identify the element which is present inside the iframe that is date field so let's inspect the date field so i will identify the this input box by using the id so simply i will copy the attribute and a value. 
so i'll paste it here and uh, just we are writing a simple css selector so let's copy the locator value and here what i will do is now to identify the input box so i will use the frame because that element is present inside the iframe so here i'll use iframe dot locator so here we can pass the css selector what we have written to identify the input box so here i'll say await followed by iframe dot locator now simply i will call to the fill method so here i can pass the date so let's check the what is the format of date we have to pass it so if you see here if i click on this and if i select any dates so it is selecting the dates in the format of month date and year right so you can select any dates here so i will pass some random dates here by using the fill method so here i'll say so 12 <coughs> sorry 15 so firstly we are passing the month then date sorry and then year so that's it so we are almost done with the first scenario simply we are hard coding the date value and we are passing on to the input box so let's run the test and we should be able to navigate to the this url first and then we should be able to enter this hard coded date into the input box so simply i will run this test now and if you see here so we are able to select the 12 15 2024 and also if you see the test status our test is getting passed right so this is the hard coded date now let's see how to select dynamic date so here i'll say selecting dynamic date so again the, it is very simple so if i navigate to the browser here so firstly we have to click on this input box then we will select the today's date so if i am running the script today it will select the two words let's say for example i am running it tomorrow so automatically tomorrow's date will be 13th and it will select the 13th as a date so firstly let's click on this input box we have already identified this input box so simply we will perform the click action so this is the element what we have identified and previously we were sending the data directly into the field so this time firstly we will click on that input box then we are going to select the today's date so if you are running today's uh, if you are running today it is going to select 12th and if you are running it tomorrow it will select 13th and if you are running day after tomorrow also it is going to select 14th sorry so let's inspect these elements and if you see here so this is a table actually so entire this calendar is, calendar contains the table tag under the table we have the table body and tr table rows and then td nothing but the table columns so if you see this td tag right so previous tds doesn't contains the class value and this particular td contains the class value that means so if td class 
class attribute if it is containing the value that means that is nothing but the today's date correct so simply i will identify this td by using the class value so simply i will copy this class value and i will write a simple css selector dot and after that i'll pass the class value and if you see here so it is highlighting the today's date as a 12th correct so let's take this locator and uh, here i'll say await iframe dot locator and simply i'll pass the locator here then simply i will click on that element that's it so i will comment the previous one now if i run this test it should select the today's date so simply sorry so let's run the test and uh, see the results and if you see here so it is selecting the today's date that is a 12th correct so it is working as expected and if you are running same test tomorrow it is going to select the 13th as a date there so that's it guys now let's see how to select the past date so again it is very simple so we have to firstly click on this input box then we have to click on this previous button so firstly let's click on this input box so here i will go to the so let me comment these two lines so anyway simply i'll copy the 14th line here we are clicking on the input box then so let's identify the previous element so after clicking on this previous icon here we will select the some date random dates so here simply i will click on the input box ident let's identify the previous button and if you see here so this anchor tag contains the class data handler data event and title so you can use data handler or a title so i will use the title here so let's write a css selector for this and if you see here i have written the css selector and it is highlighting the previous button so let's click on the firstly previous button so here i'll say await followed by iframe dot locator so simply i will add the locator value here so i will perform the click action so that's it so after the after clicking on the previous so what we will do is so firstly we will we will click on the input box then we will get the calendar we will click on the previous then here we will select any text right so let's select the 15th right so what you need to do is you need to write a simple again selector so what i am going to write it here is so simply you can pass text equal to and in the double quotation you can pass the value say for example i want to select 15th here you can pass any date here so that's it guys now our test is ready let's run and see the test status and if you see here so now the first month it is going to select the november month and 15th date and 2024 right and if you see the test status also so our test is getting passed so this is how you can select the past date so similarly let's select the 
future date so here i'll say future date only i will update here is this particular at sorry locator we previously we are clicking on the previous icon but this time we are going to click on the next icon so here i will go to the again uh, browser and let's inspect the next icon here and if you see here so you can use data handler or the title so in our case we are using a title so simply i will copy the title value so i'll paste it here that's it so let me format this whole code So let me comment this first part also. Now we should be able to select the January 15th because if you see this browser. So firstly, let me refresh this browser. So we are clicking on this input box. Then we are clicking on the next icon. And here we are selecting 15th. You can pass any value here. So you can try, try it out. So there should not be any problem. So this time we are going to select 01, 15 and 2015, so 2025. So let's run the test and uh, let's check the results. And if you see here, we are able to select the 01, 15. 2025 so this is working as expected and if you see the test execution status our test is getting passed so this is how you can work with the date pickers in playwright automation testing